vloggers. Welcome back to another unbagging video where I go through all of the stuff that I found in my most recent plog or detrashing session where I cleaned up my neighborhood. So let's take a look and see what we got this week. Styrofoam plate, restaurant rag, straw, broken up plastic container. It looks like one of those takeout boxes. Styrofoam cup, another styrofoam cup, Coke can. This is actually a theme of the most recent plog is sugar. I found so many things with sugar, whether it's soda or candy. I'll show you what else is in there. Plastic bag, more Coke, sweetened iced tea. Another big cup, water bottle. If I had to guess, there were probably muffins in here. Another one. And all too common right now, masks ice bag. And it wouldn't be one of my plogs without finding. 99 peaches mini bottle. These are called nips. Did you know that only in New England are they like regularly called nips? I had no idea. I thought this was a standard thing. I call it a nip. Granola bar wrapper. Oh man, so this is plastered to the road and I know everything I touch is now going to be super sticky from touching it again. But a Sour Patch Kids wrapper. Yep, still sticky. This giant piece of plastic, no idea what it's for, but it's kind of in the shape of an alligator. And last but not least, the one and probably only time I'm ever going to find this specific item, a Ion Pro RT front bike light packaging. Couldn't tell you. Uh, that about wraps up the big items that I got. There's a lot of small stuff in here, but uh, I'm going to put all of this back in the bag. We're going to get a weight on it and we're going to See how much that weight equates to in a dollar amount because however much it weighs gets translated into a dollar amount and donated to a specific charity for the month and there were two uh, options that people left in the comments last week thank you to dom and jen for your suggestions uh, i heard both of them but i think i'm going to go with the perfect match one that jen recommended solely because it is the month of august and in the month of august was international cat day so to celebrate cats i'm going to donate to uh, the one that Jen recommended because I love cats and because of cat day and that is where she adopted her cat from. So let's get a wait, see how much is going to be donated. I will say it was a rather light one. There's a lot of stuff, but it's all very light as you can see from all the styrofoam cups. So here's hoping it's good. So I don't know if you can see this, but it is 1.4 pounds. That means a dollar and 40 cents will be donated to Perfect Match as recommended by Jen last time on my video. So the month of August will be Perfect Match. You let me know if you have any ideas for September. Otherwise, we'll go with that second option provided by Dom, which is an environmental fund. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and feel free to drop some comments in there if you have any feedback on what we got today. But until next time, take care.